Welcome to CA Performance Management video events and notifications. While polled data provides input to CA Performance Management, the product creates output in the form of informational messages called events. Event processing can, in turn, be configured to produce emails and traps called notifications. This video examines both events and notifications and how they provide the user with descriptive and useful system and health information. In addition to monitoring and analyzing performance metrics, CA Performance Management can also create events which alert you of significant happenings. Events provide health and status information for your monitored environment as well as for the servers in the host system. Events come in two major categories, internal and external. Internal events need no configuration and are usually triggered automatically by an occurrence within the product, such as a metric family update or a loss of connection with the database server. External events are threshold violations which are triggered by polled values. The product also extends event reporting by sending notifications in the form of emails or traps. Together, events and notification play an important role by keeping you aware of changes or problems in your infrastructure or within CA performance management itself. Let's take a closer look at events. Events can be viewed in a factory supplied dashboard called Events Display in the Operations Displays menu. By default, this menu is accessible to almost all of the predefined user roles. The Events Display dashboard is shipped with a single view called Events View. This view shows both internal events and external threshold violations, and you can use the usual dashboard scoping mechanisms of context setting and time frame selection to limit the events to the desired group and time of occurrence. Here we're using both context and time frame to limit the events to those which occurred in the Northeast region within the last hour. Events can be forwarded to CA Spectrum, allowing CA Performance Management to take advantage of CA Spectrum's advanced and industry-leading alarm capabilities. CA Performance Management can generate events for many reasons, so it's often helpful to limit which events are displayed, allowing you to concentrate on the events which are most important to you. You can do this using another event-based view called the Filtered Events View. Here, the Events Display Dashboard is being extended to include the Filtered Events view to display selected events based upon configurable criteria. Configuration consists of specifying the desired category or characteristics of the events you want displayed, for example, by choosing from a number of event types and subtypes. In this configuration, we're choosing to only show administration events and then only those administration events related to certification or projection changes. Now, examining the view, we can see by the event type and the subtype columns that only the specified events are displayed. Another example of event scoping in CA Performance Management is the ability to see events on a per device or per component basis as seen here. Threshold events are generated when poll data violates a specified boundary or returns to normal. Boundary values and characteristics are defined in a construct called a threshold profile. Threshold profiles are organized into folders for organizational purposes. For example, these threshold folders are based on device type. Threshold profiles consist of one or more rules which evaluate in parallel and define these the metrics threshold and conditions are based under on which an event type. will be generated. For the rule shown here, a critical event will be generated if the aggregate CPU utilization of a device exceeds 90% for 10 minutes within a 15-minute window. Threshold profiles are activated by associating them with a custom group often defined explicitly for thresholding purposes. This design allows the administrator fine control over which devices and components have thresholds. This minimizes the resource consumption required by threshold processing. As a further safeguard, threshold calculation bandwidth is constantly monitored and a limiter kicks in should processing ever exceed a configurable percentage of the polling cycle. Once a threshold profile is activated, you can also view which events were caused by that profile. Now let's look at notifications. Notifications offer an alternative to actively watching the events display dashboard. 
They allow relevant events to be sent to the appropriate people via email or other applications via traps. Configuring notifications is made simple through the use of a step-by-step -step wizard. Steps involve naming the notification, applying a group filter to scope candidate events, specifying the event selection criteria, and finally choosing email and trap destinations. Taking a closer look at the event selection step, you can see that it involves choosing from the same set of criteria offered by the filtered events view, such as severity and event type. The Create Notifications role right is required to configure notifications. For more detailed information about CA Performance Management events and notifications, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can go to the product documentation, visit the CA communities, or see the learning path.